don't know. Oh my gosh. Hello everyone. Um, today is an exciting day. Look at my hair. It's disgusting. If I look like a mess, it's because I am. I'm in the process of moving. Actually, my see my picture's gone. Ooh. My picture's gone. My whole room is like basically nothing. All of my makeup is packed up. And I have this giant thing of empties. And as a policy, I don't typically move trash to my new home. So I'm gonna go through them. But because I don't have any of my makeup out, I was like, what am I gonna wear, right? Um, we're gonna start a new tradition, I think. And we're gonna wear a face mask. Yeah. This one is the Formula 10 Be Very Bright Exfoliating Mud Mask. I'm supposed to put this on for 10 to 15 minutes and then wash it off and to exfoliate. When you wash it, you're supposed to do this, like the, the face thing. So yeah, let's go ahead and smack this on. Look at what I just got, which I'm so excited about. It's so cute. It is this um, makeup headband from Ulta. And I also bought these. Ooh, almost stuck them into the candle. Um, their little hair section clips and they're like baby pink. I've worn them in a couple videos before this and they're so cute. Like, right? They're so cute that I have, I, I have normal ones somewhere, but, um, I had to buy more because I'm like afraid of breaking them, but this is perfect. I've, oh, it's like the best bow tie ever. I don't have nails on. I don't have my hair looking decent. I have nothing. My life is nothing right now. That's cute. I look like, um, like a 50s housewife. And I, I'm pretty sure that's like what this brand is going for. It's supposed to be a little more. See, my hair just like does like whatever it wants to. I don't understand. I just don't. All right. Let's do it. This is my elf. I, I hauled this once. Um, it is a little rubber thing and you put your face masks on with it. The other end is a little brush for like doing your pores, but I've never used that part. I'm thinking about buying a Clarisonic because as you can see, like my shit is fucked up. I don't actually know. Like, what is the problem with that, you know? You think that you turn, you know, you're not a teenager anymore. You would think that it's over, but no, it's not over. What is happening back there? See him? He's like, fuck this, I'm going under the covers. It's midnight. <laughs> I am so sorry to, oh, I got something weird on my eye. All right. This has goji berry and green coffee in it. Fascinating. Often, you know, I'm gonna be honest, I often leave my masks on longer than it says to, but <laughs> do what you wanna do. Do you, okay, what's the better here? Ooh. Came out nice and easy. That's what it looks like there. All right, let's just go start. Ooh, very nice. So yeah, I think it would be fun to start doing empties with a face mask on every time and it could be, oh, I can definitely see and like feel a little bit the exfoliants. Um, a face mask every time would be fun, like, you know, like something different. I can tell you guys what I think about the face masks. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? I had to just think whether or not this was my right hand just now. Like, that's how tired I am right now. That's how my life is going right now. Um, I'm excited to move. That's always exciting. So, I guess, you know, kind of, maybe not. Um, but it's just so, moving is so hard. It's like, you know, you get in one place and you just, you root. You just root. And it's like, you know, now I have to like, I gotta clean out under my bed. I gotta clean out under my desk. Oh, I probably not should have not put that on my nose piercing. Wonderful, going well there. A good thing is that I have been watching a lot of movies. Well, not a lot, but I, over the Thanksgiving break, I found 
say this delicately, that I found a site and it may or may not be unpaid. And I'm not really sure where the movies come from, but you know, I can neither confirm nor deny that um, it's illegal. But I've been watching a lot of movies. And you know, I may or may not be paying for them. You don't know. You know my life. I'm just throwing on um, some of my little stitch lip balm here. Look, it's so cute. I, my friend and I, I have a, uh, one of my very best friends. We love Stitch. Like, it's so cute. He's so cute. Um, and when I saw that Lip Smackers was coming out with these little sum 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 sum, um, I was like, I have to have them. This motherfucker was like five dollars. Like, that's a lot of money for a lip balm. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about trash, shall we? Let's talk trash. Let's do it. Let's do it. I haven't done a talking video in so long. It's all been get ready with me because I'm so busy. But I started collecting my trash in a bin instead of just randomly on the side of my desk, so that's cool. And I'm just gonna, are you okay? What's happening? Can you hear him? He's like having a panic attack. I have this Softimo deep cleansing oil and it's all in Japanese. Um, this is something that I use when I wear makeup and so I, th I take showers every night now so I haven't been like just washing my face in the sink. Um, I've been washing it in the shower. So if I've worn makeup, I will do this first before I cleanse. If I haven't worn makeup, I don't use this typically. Um, I like this. It took me a while to use up. Um, I think it was fairly decently priced. I think that I would use this again, but I want to try a different, like, brand just to try. I've never used any other different cleansing oils, but, um, I have no real negative thoughts for this guy. I, um, it lasted me a very decent amount of time, so, yeah, it was, it was decent. It's softy mo. Like, is that how you pronounce that? Softy mo? I don't know. Um, here's a quick thing. I've been buffing the hell out of my nails because I've been wearing fake nails a lot and you have to buff them before you glue them on so that the glue will adhere to your nail correctly. Um, yeah, this one is really, really old and it was time for it. It's time for it to pass on, move on. Oh, let's see how many of these we've got. So we've got, these are my pointed Q-tips that I use for everything from makeup to skincare to... I honestly think I cleaned a straw out one time with one of them. It's just four this time. So yes, I have four of these. I buy, there's a Swisper brand. Um, I've never seen another brand. That's not true, actually. I bought some at Ulta once. Um, and yeah. I just use them all the time. Look, I've got them right here. Looking like Game of Thrones, <laughs> the Iron Throne. But yeah, I just, I, oh, all right. I'm just dropping things now. Okay. What's happening right now? Also finished one of these and this took me a really long time. It always takes, because I don't take my nail polish off of my fingers, it always takes me a long time to finish a round of cotton rounds. But I have recently started using this guy, this is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Tonic Toner, alcohol free toner. The bag just touched me and it freaked me out. Alcohol toner, alcohol free toner, Jesus Christ. My friend gave me this for my birthday, which came and went, by the way, I'm 23 now. And um, I've been using this and I apply it with a cotton round, so I bought a bunch of no name ones. But yeah, these are the, I think these are the Q tip, they're the Q tip brand. Q tip is a brand. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about this, I got these in an influencer a long time ago. So yeah, yeah, then just, just got around. I finished one of my uh, makeup wipes that I buy from Walmart. These are the Equate Beauty Nighttime Soothing Makeup Remover Towelettes. These smell really good. This time I actually bought the normal brand because I was in a hurry and that's the first one I saw and I was like give it to me I gotta go now but I actually do like these better they do have a scent and I like it I like the scent but if you were someone who doesn't like scents you probably won't like these 
they're a decent price for you know what they are so i got these oh they're like gone i fin i i killed a pair of these these are the eiler london jesus christ they're stuck to the box <laughs> can you see that they're stuck inside the box they're like living in the lid of the box um get me here release they look like this they're very cute i didn't feel like they exacerbated like the hood of my eyes or anything which is always nice they're just this like kind of alternated long and short and um i got them for not for free for really cheap at an ultra sale once it's like 2.99 normally 5.99 and i thought that was a pretty decent price um so yeah i killed them you know i wore them multiple times same with these guys. These are the ones that I actually wore to my graduation and my uh, graduation party, my college graduation, college graduation party. I'm like kind of sad to like get rid of them. Is that weird? Like I have like emotional attachment to an eyelash. <laughs> These are the Ardell Glamour Wispies in black. You can see what they look like there. These are super easy to apply and I've had to trim them because I have little baby eyes. Um, but I actually really like these too, so I definitely recommend those. I sadly finished this. This is the Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner Skin Conditioner. I love this stuff. This came in a, oh, I already finished it, I think. This came in a set with the Rose Jam Shower Gel that's limited edition. Um, the full size of this is like 30-ish dollars, I think. Yeah, I think it's $30, if not more. Um, and I really like this. I use this after I shave and I just like sit there for a minute and like look at my phone <laughs> after because I shave like in the bath. Um, I use this after and you know, you just let it sit for a minute before you rinse off. And I, I shower after I take a bath because I don't wash my hair in the bath. Um, but yeah, I, I love this. I love this and uh, I will probably buy the full size again soon maybe in the summer probably doesn't really make sense to buy it in the winter because i'm not shaving very much let's be honest oh my god i've got philosophy shower gels out the wazoo that's one two three four i've got four of them that's pretty crazy and they're all like no they're not do oh how funny they're all they're Two of them are from one set and two of them are from another. That's weird. I love Philosophy's holiday sets. I love their sets in general. I don't usually buy the full size. I feel like that's kind of a rip off. It's even more expensive than it used to be. It used to be $18 for 18 ounces and now I think it's $20 for 18 ounces. Like, Philosophy, stop. Um, I use these as shower gels. I know it says you can use it as shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I don't have a good tub right now, so I haven't been taking baths, but I do like these as bubble bath too, but I don't... That's an expensive shampoo <laughs> that doesn't really have many claims. So um, this is the old fashioned eggnog. I love this scent. This is the hot buttered rum. I really love this scent. This one's really strong. Um, some of them I feel like aren't as strong smelling as others, but this hot buttered rum one is really strong. And then these, so that was like a holiday set. And these two are from, I feel like it might've been a holiday set, but it was like a a baked goods kind of set. This one is the ice cream man and then the muffin man. So it's something man. What would the other one be? Not milk man. I don't know. I'll have to check. If my stuff wasn't packed up, I would honestly check. But um, the this is one of my favorites. It says it's lemon, so it's like lemon custard. This is French vanilla bean. And then those other two are exactly what they say. <laughs> um, I love vanilla. Vanilla is my favorite scent, and I do really like this one. But I did, I loved this one, the Muffin Man, the lemon custard one. It smells so good. It, it's like really nice. So yeah, I use these as shower gels, and I love them. Right now I'm using peppermint bark. I've not seen that. Some of mine are really old, and I was like, oh my god, this is so, it literally, I'm amazed that when I get out, I'm not, brown because it smells like I'm literally putting cocoa onto my body like straight and it's red because it's peppermint bark but there's no fucking mint in there I don't smell any mint which is nice because I fucking hate mint <laughs> so 
It looks like I have one more shower gel here. Maybe uh, this is the <laughs> Nicki Minaj Menagesty shower gel. It came with the Menagesty perfume that I purchased. It's just another shower gel. I um, I would never pay more for like a perfume shower gel because I don't really think it um, does anything special or anything like that. But um, but yeah, it says in bold for adult use only. Do not bathe your children with Nicki Minaj Menagesty shower gel. Now you know. All right, let's finish up skincare here before we get into makeup. I tried out this Sephora um, sheet mask. This is the pomegranate one, and I really like this. I I always say that I don't really feel like sheet masks actually really do much for me that's not true the benton snail oil ones i do feel like they improve my skin a little bit but for the most part like my beauty diary or etc etc like the sephora ones the tony moly ones etc etc i don't really feel like they do a lot i feel like it's more like the experience because it's like it's cooling it's soothing it's a spa it's like a spa thing so I don't really judge these on like, oh, did it, I don't even know, did it make my face not tired anymore and energize me? I'm like, I don't know, I fucking went to sleep after it. Like, like you know, how are you? Like, I don't know, I don't really know. I don't know how I'm supposed to evaluate those claims. <laughs> like, like, you know, this one has green coffee in it and it's like, am I supposed to like look more awake? How will my face look awake if I myself am not awake? Because I'm really fucking tired. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but these Sephora sheet masks are nice in my opinion. So what I kind of judge a sheet mask by is kind of like the thickness of the actual mask and how wet it is. And I've had, I don't know if it's different now, but Frame and um, Feeling Beautiful made some sheet masks. And when they came out first, the very first time they ever came out, it was super thin and it actually kind of burned me a little and I never tried them again but I feel like they still have some out there and I want to try them and see if it's any different um, my beauty diary is my favorite probably sheet mask in terms of like oh it felt really moisturizing etc etc um, so I guess basically a, what do you call it like um, across the board like pretty even across the board like I tried the Dr. Jart ones and I didn't really notice like much of a difference between like that and this so you know purchase at your own risks <laughs> um but yeah this is this for one it smelled nice it smelled fine it felt good it is what it is like it's a fucking piece of paper that I put on my face it's a wet piece of paper <laughs> All right, I have another one of these. This is the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser. My mom and I share these. We actually are trying a different one right now. This is like the cleanser that I have when I'm like, I switch between cleansers. This is like the my generic cleanser, you know, like my not hardcore cleanser. Um, and so now for that, because my mom doesn't really need a hardcore cleanser, so she just uses like a gentle one, kind of like this. We're trying the simple moisturizing one or something and it's actually really nice and there's actually a lot in the bottle for what you need like I'm fairly impressed right now with the simple one and I've never tried any simple products so we'll see um this is the elf one I've talked about this before in an empties I really like this I mean I think this is just you know it does what it says it does cleans your face on the day that you put it on you know like it doesn't it doesn't claim to like be moisturizing or like clear your skin and like all that so you know it pretty much says what it is it doesn't try to like sell you on fake shit this is a very basic cleanser so yeah i like it i would purchase it again to be honest yeah because it's a good price and it's not a bad product at all all right, I've got two moisturizers here. This is my Ride or Die moisturizer. This is the Userin Daily Protection Moisturizing Face Lotion. It has SPF 30 in it. I gotta be honest though, I've honestly been using this Aloe Pure Time Repair Serum as moisturizer because it's very wet. And, um, and I'm kind of just trying to use it up like, 
so I haven't I haven't repurchased this but I would um this is uh, the only thing I would say is that I feel like the bottle is done so quick and I feel like there's some left in it like a lot left in it I need to get one of those like scooper things but that like annoys me like I shouldn't have to buy an extra product to get the product that I bought you know like that's dumb but it is what it is with this guy this is the elf daily hydration moisturizer again a pretty simple one i did feel like this was super moisturizing actually um and it's a squeeze but it has a pump so like the pump worked i will say that for a long time after the pump you know was like getting nothing left i was opening it and because it's a twist i was opening it and getting a lot out so like the pump i think probably because it's a squeeze like this quickly because it doesn't have a long like tube like most pumps do like the uh, oil does so it's just kind of like if there's not a quantity sitting on the pump here like and nothing's gonna come out so like the pump stops working pretty early it's not because it like breaks it's just that it's not getting any other product do you understand like it's really hard to explain i like this too i would repurchase this i would recommend this yeah all right, I think all we have left is skincare. <laughs> skincare, well, <laughs> Jesus. Um, I think all we have left is makeup and it's not a ton, which is nice. Um, this is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. And now that I'm sitting here and saying that about that, I wonder if I could, no, I'd have to cut it. That's so annoying. Ugh, I may not throw this away. <laughs> this is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. This is SPF 42 and this is the color number 13. I am sure that you've seen me use this in videos. Um, I really like this. Um, it feels really nice. It doesn't fuck up my skin and it's definitely pale enough for me. Um, and I bought this on Amazon I think for like $13 tops which is decent and then I saw it on what was it called soco glam or something for like either 20 more than 20 dollars and i was like that's bullshit like don't play that game no sir um i will repurchase this they also have a cushion of this and i think it comes in number 13 which is the color um and i think i might try that next because i do really like this and um it lasted me a long time and i i feel like there's a lot left in it so i may actually cut it and put it in a tube or not a tube um a, a little jar because i do really actually really like this so yeah I would definitely recommend that it depends there's three shades there's like 13 and then I think there's 20 and 24 like that makes no fucking sense but um so if you fit into that shade range there it's certainly not dark is you know for sure um so if you fit into that shade range of like light to very little probably very light medium um then I totally recommend that but unfortunately like I said a lot of Korean companies that make these color face products are not going to cater to women of color which is upsetting although I, I guess like they do cater to you know southeast asian skin tones but like more towards the pale side even but they're certainly not going to cater to black women or um women from india or anything like that so that is unfortunate and I wish it wasn't that way but it is and even America does a shit job of catering to those women anyway so like honestly <sighs> this is the first talking video I've made since the election and I'm just gonna stop now okay the next thing I have in here is a kiss maximum speed nail glue this is what I use to glue on my fake nails and it is the bomb as like I said as long as you buff your nails before this will definitely work and you need a very small amount and it doesn't dry out quickly it's very good I have at least two more hanging around because they come with the nails and so I always have like this one okay don't laugh but i poked it into some wax so it's got some red stuff on it but i always um i put a piece of tape on the bottle so that i know which one i am currently using because otherwise i'll open a bunch of them and have like a shit ton of them open uh, <laughs> but yeah that's my favorite nail glue 
Um, then I have this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I found this when I was cleaning out my makeup and it's empty. Um, and I was like, oh, I should put that in. Um, I like this, but I don't remember liking it, like, as, like, to justify the price point, to be honest. Like, I... I feel like it did the same thing as my NYX one or my Maybelline Master Fix, so that's my thoughts on that. And the pump on this bottle broke, this little sample bottle broke fairly quickly, but I don't hear much left in it, so I don't know. I have this here. This is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This, it, it never ceases to amaze me the like way that it looks when the wand is in it because you can see through it so like you can see the like weird color uh, from my brows but like look at that like little bubble so bizarre um this is like two dollars at Ulta and I really like this um the only reason I haven't repurchased yet is because I got one in a boxy charm <laughs> not one of these but I got a brow gel in the box in a boxy charm and brow gels like honestly they all do the same thing to me it depends on like, are you gonna get a shit ton of product out when you pull it out? And you know, this one is not too bad in that aspect. The Maybelline Great Lash, is it Maybelline? The Great Lash one, the pink and green bottle, except it's not pink, it's clear. <laughs> um, that one you pull it out and it's like globs of fucking eye gel, eyebrow gel and it's like, I don't have like 18 eyebrows, I have two and they're not four inches thick. So I go, I don't know, it's too much. I like the also. Then I have this and this is crazy. Okay, so this is a little Kat Von D um, ink liner and trooper. It's the, yeah. This is a piece of shit. I fucking hated this. I hated the brush. I hated the formula the literally okay so like I don't even have bad wrinkles but like when I um when I would do this like do a wing I could watch it spread through my like any eye wrinkles you know how you have those tiny wrinkles on your hand and if you have just enough ink you can watch it like do the little travels this did that and it's so weird because everyone's like oh i love the kat von d liner it's like the best it's like ride or die this is my favorite i can never fail at doing a wing i kept i'm not awful at eyeliner like honestly like I'm not the best at it but I'm not the worst and I've used the physician's formula brush one for so long I would go to line my eye with this not even do like a wing or anything and I would just like it's like I couldn't stop bumping it onto my eyelid like the brush I just don't know and I didn't even expect it to be like that but I think I just don't know like this was just a negative experience and there's still some left in this but I was like shaking it for like a long time and I can hear the ball in it and I'm like shaking it shaking it shaking it hoping it's gonna be like less watery right shaking it shaking it shaking it I would literally shake it for like five minutes before I use it and it was the same thing every time and I just like <laughs> I don't fucking have time for that shit no I don't I'm so glad I never bought the full size or anything because like it's just like fuck that <laughs> this is the Revlon super length mascara it's time for this to go like I feel like I could still get product out of it if I needed to but not a lot like not like I don't feel like I'm throwing it away before it's done it is kind of like a messy mascara um it's not like my favorite mascara but it's not it wasn't like awful I did feel like it smudged on me a little bit and I did feel like it was a little bit clumpy you know it's like <laughs> It's not the worst mascara I've ever used. It's not the best. It's like, I probably won't purchase it again, but if I had to, if it was the only thing left and it was like this or Wet n Wild Mega Length, I would fucking definitely pick this. But um, I don't know, I just wasn't that impressed. I'd like to try the other ones from this little line, like this ovally line, <laughs> I don't know. It's like the super, super volume super da, da, da. there's one that's like a combo of all of them and it's like why, why, why would i not just want that like seems strange to me <laughs> but 
yeah so I don't necessarily like recommend this and I don't necessarily like not recommend this but I feel like mascara is kind of a personal thing like you know my eyelashes are different than your eyelashes and I just my eyelashes just didn't die with this guy I don't know I don't know what it was I don't know last two things here this is the NYX HD Concealer and Lavender. If you have watched any of my Get Ready With Me's, you know that this is ride or die. Um, I used to use this back in the day before pale skin was like the thing. Um, I used to use this to lighten concealers so that they would be light enough for my skin. Um, now I don't have to do that anymore. But I use this for to mix with my concealer for under my eye because like just like it like <laughs> one time I said because I don't think I should have to buy an extra product to just brighten my under eyes and then I was like well this is an extra product <laughs> like well okay Laura <laughs> quit trying to be a bitch um I really like this <laughs> it's so weird because I once heard someone on YouTube say that this goes really fast like they ran out of this really fast and I literally had to force myself to buy a new one because this is so old and like it's not like it's like brimming with product but like I could definitely use this more like if I like had to you know like it's not like dead I mean it's like I'm saying it's certainly not like brimming with product like and when I scoot it along the wall of the tube I can like see it making like it changing it and when I hold it up you're not gonna be able to see but when I hold it up through the light I can definitely like see through it but the point is that it lasted me a long time <laughs> I bought another one of these already um but yeah like it definitely lasted me well past six months, which is this one's expiration date, which is probably not very good, but you know, I play by my own rules, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, so I definitely like, this did not go super quick for me. I bought the pale for the palest color of the HD concealer and it was not pale enough for me. So I don't really like fuck with like all of the, the actual concealer. I suppose I could buy the green concealer from them instead of from Sephora. Perhaps I might do that because the Sephora one's more expensive, obviously. It's like $14 or something and the, the this is probably like six, five or six. Um, so I probably will do that um, next time I'm out of green. I'm talking about the Sephora collection one, which I actually think I do have still. I do have my little main makeup out. I don't have any of my eyeshadows and I put away all my eye brushes. Um, this is the Sephora Bright Future um, color corrector in green. So like, I love that. But I probably will buy the green one of these next time just to try it out because I can't imagine that it's like awful and um it's a lot cheaper <laughs> and then the last thing is not exciting at all <laughs> probably maybe should start with this it's very late very boring but I finished another chapstick and cake batter I just bought one in sugar cookie which is like the limited edition scent for the holidays and um and I was trying to see how far past I am past on the the drying of the mask. Um, I bought one a sugar cookie and it smells really good. It smells, I will say it does smell different than cake butter. I feel kind of like sometimes like the sweet scents all kind of blend together. But um, yeah, no, I love these chapsticks. Um, I will always buy a chapstick <laughs> because they're really cheap and I don't like to pay money for, I don't really like the EOS ones very much. And I haven't tried the ones where they're striped though, and I feel like those might be better than the other ones. The other ones once chapped my lips really bad. I'm not even kidding. It just chapped my lips. Like, honest to God, it was the weirdest thing. And I don't know. I don't know why, but I was so excited to have one. And then it just like, it fucked my lips up like really bad. And it wasn't like I had an allergic reaction to it or anything. It just fucked my lips up. Like they were peeling. It was very strange. I will never forget that. Oh, taking me crazy places. 
<laughs> I'm gonna clean all this up and I'm actually gonna get in the shower and wash this off and I will come back and we will talk just a tiny bit about the mask, see what it looks like afterwards, and then we'll wrap it up. So I'll see you in a second and I'll be wet. <laughs> I'm in my robe. This collar is not quite popped right. You know, it is what it is. So the mask. Um didn't do anything bad. It didn't it did not dry me out. I don't feel dry. I haven't put anything on yet. Um I don't feel dry. Um it didn't like, you know, and I'm breaking out in hives and that's always nice. And so far I did really like the um the exfoliating um part. That is actually really nice. I really like that. The it's not like too hard, it's not too soft. It's really nice. I'm a, I was a fan of that. So yeah, overall the formula 10.0.6, that's a really weird name. Um, I don't understand that. Um, anyway, <laughs> the formula 10.0.6 Be Very Bright Exfoliating Mud Mask is a, a winner for me and I'm excited to keep using it. Comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried an exfoliating mask because I've never even heard of them like before this. Like, what? Twilight Zone. Um, like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this. I put out videos every whenever I feel like it, which is usually Mondays at noon. I will see you guys again soon. Bye!